Hi guys, it's Gary with BoxCast, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your RTMP stream through Wirecast to stream from BoxCast. Let's get started. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that we have BoxCast dashboard open, and of course, we also need to make sure we have Wirecast, and I do. This is the latest version of Wirecast 11, which is uh, it's a trial method right now, but you can get that from their website at telestream.net. All right, so let's pull some information in and get what we need. So first and foremost, we're going to go to Sources. And we're going to open up RTMP as one of our sources. And here you're going to see our Wirecast uh, configuration information for the RTMP. Um, again, if you need to regenerate a key, just go ahead and click Regenerate and regenerate that stream key. And it'll give you a whole new key right away. Let's go into Wirecast and make sure we're in the right area so we can input this information. Now, Wirecast is unique. We do have a partnership with them where we can then go ahead and import the information required directly through the login. Um, but we found that actually setting up the URL streaming um, directly through RTMP through this, this output settings is a little bit better. Um, it actually works out a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we could select down here BoxCast or we can use the RTMP server. Um, we'll do that first. All right. Once we get in there, it automatically begins to configure detail information for us. Um, tells us what we're doing here for the destination, the encoding type, and then, of course, all of our live information. This is where we're going to input our RTP details. So we'll go over here and copy our URL, and we'll add that as the address. And then my stream. Now, a lot of different software encoders and hardware encoders all label these differently. Um, some label it as just addressed in stream. Others will label it as URL and key. For this purpose with Wirecast, they label it address and stream. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that we put the right information in. So the stream is actually the stream key. So we'll copy that and put that in there. And we're going to leave everything else alone. Okay. And then we're going to hit okay. So now Wirecast is configured to go ahead and accept an RTMP destination stream from BoxCast directly into its service. So let's go jump back into our dashboard. Very easily, we're going to go ahead and go schedule a broadcast. We'll call this RTMP Wirecast, WC for short. We'll make sure that our source is changed to RTMP. Our video resolution is 720. And that again, up here in output settings, our RTMP and server is 720 at 30 frames. All set, we'll hit public. If we wanted to add any social media, we can do it. And we're gonna hit schedule broadcast. Now, just to make sure that everything is properly set up, um, we can go to RTMP coder settings here and click on show full RTMP settings. Our dashboard will run an upload estimated speed test. Once it finishes, it will give us our encoder rendering setter, encoder rendering settings. Here we can go to Wirecast configuration and we can actually follow the setup instructions from our, our dashboard link uh, here for our articles, or we can encode it by using these information, which as you can see is exactly the same thing that we've already done. It's already pre-done it for us. Once we have this and we're scheduled, we can then go in here and now hit stream. Interesting note with RTMP with BoxCast is that you can stream any information 10 minutes prior to the start time. Anything beyond that will not allow you. You may get an error message that the server is not responsive or the server key information is wrong. Um, but it's not the case. You can always double check it. But we allow a server connection to establish 10 minutes prior to the start time. Now, just so you're aware that as you send information from your encoder to us, if it's prior to that start time, 10 minutes in, you will not actually see your live stream kick in until the actual start time. And that's because our server is dedicated to begin at that time. All right. If you have any additional questions, please contact us at questions at boxcast.com. Check out our website, boxcast.com, and on our support page, or click this nifty little button, support. And in here, you can type in the word Wirecast, and it will bring up all of your Wirecast information, especially on how to stream to us from RTMP. As always, until next time, happy streaming.